Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to create an item as well as how to create an item variant. So first let's understand how an item can be created. Now item can be created by an item manager and then further in order to add the price of an item we will need the user with the role of purchase or sales master manager. So let's go ahead and create an item using the item manager login. Alright, so I'll go to the item manager login. So okay, now this is where I'm logged in as a user with an item manager role and I'll go into the stock module and over here I'll click on the item and I'll let and I'll click on add item over here. Now we have item code as well as item name. So item code can be a short form of an item name. Basically it can be something by reading an item code you should be able to identify like what type of an item it is so for example uh, right now i'll go ahead and i'll create a oneplus phone so here if you see i have this from the amazon so i'll use the same in order to create one so let's take this name over here so i'll add that as an item name and over here in order to add the item code i'll i'll name it as let's say oneplus and I'll call it as B that is for black and let's say 8 GB something like this so for example if we have another item another oneplus phone so we can say that okay it is red color so we can say oneplus red and then we can also add the specifications over here as a code so that's the purpose of an item code now if you so over here if you see like if you add the name of item code and if you won't add the item name so item name will have the same name as item code over here but now since I've added it it's going to be different now next step is I'll add the item group now adding an item group is important because that way on the website you can apply filters on the item and this way you can also like segregate how the what group this particular item falls into so let's say I'll say this is a this is mobile phone so I'll say mobile phones and then we have default unit of measure obviously it will be numbers now over here you can enable maintain stock or you can disable it now if you are enabling maintain stock so what will happen is when you will create a sales order for a customer or if you have a website where you will have all the items on the website so the sales order will only be created if the item is available in the stock so if you have enabled maintain stock, then only you, you'll be able to create a sales order. Now if you disable it, then what will happen is you can create sales order and the stock ledger entry, anything like that won't be created. But it is a good practice to enable it. And we'll also add the standard selling rate, but right now item manager don't have permission to add the selling rate, so I won't add it for now. Let's just save it. All right, so we created this OnePlus item over here now we will add some more details for this particular item now let's say if you're enabling the serial number like if you have warranty if you want to have warranty for this particular item then you can say that has serial number and you can also specify the warranty period over here so let's say the warranty period is 400 days okay or let's say 365 days and you have enabled has serial number and you you can add the serial number series over here so let's say i will add as one plus b dot okay something like this and we also need to add the item tax so whenever there will be sales order created or a purchase order created in regards with this item what will happen is the tax will also be applied so we need to make sure that we are adding a tax now since right now now one thing to remember over here is that item manager don't have a permission for the item tax template in a standard in a standard version of ERP next so you need to add the permission separately in role permission manager like I have given a read permission for item tax template that's why I'm able to add taxes over here so you need to make sure take care of the permissions and see how it is working for you now I'll add two taxes over here I'll add the 18% tax for one company and I'll add the 18% tax for another company now since we have two companies within the system that is we have a parent company and we also have a child company that's why I'm adding this two tax templates 
and I'll click on save. So if you notice, I have added the following details that is I've added the warranty period, I've added the whether this particular item will have a serial number or not. And then I've also added the tax details, which is very important. It will be useful in sales order, purchase order and a lot of other transactions. So now this once this is done, what I'll go what I'll do is I'll go ahead with the purchase master managers login and I'll add the price for this particular item. So let's go ahead and over here I'm logged in as a purchase master manager. So I'll go to the stock and I'll go to the item price and I'll do one thing, I'll add both the selling as well as the buying price for the item. So let's say one plus and I'll say the price list standard buying now standard buying price is basically that you are setting a default amount at which you will be buying this particular item from a supplier so consider that as 35,000 and then I'll go ahead and add a selling price so I'll say one plus and I'll add the price list that is standard selling and I'll say 46,000 is that 40, 46,000 or it is more? I think it's more. Okay. So now I have added the two prices. That is one is the selling price and one is the buying price of the item. Now buying price is the, amount, the rate at which we will buy from a supplier and selling is the rate at which we will sell the particular item to a customer. So once the item price and item tax and everything is added, now you are ready to go ahead and use this item in the transactions, in the various transactions that you have. So this was all about creating an item. Now next thing over here is that we also need to create an item variant and we will see how we can create that. Now item variant will be having like a different versions of an item. For example, now right now we have OnePlus, we created OnePlus. So what I'll do is I'll create another item named as OnePlus and we will create a four different variants for it, four or three different variants. So let's go ahead again with the item managers login and I'll create another item. Let's call it as OnePlus, okay? Right now I'll just keep a name as simple and I, I won't add the item name so you might notice that the item name will be added automatically and maintain stock all right let's click on save okay now in order to add the item variants you need to scroll down and you need to click on has variants over here now once you click on has variants you will get this particular option that is variant based on what based on item attribute or based on manufacturer now let's consider that we will create it based on the item attribute and I'll go ahead and add the different attributes on which the variants will be created. So let's consider that we will create it on the basis of color and I'll just click on save. So now on, on adding this particular information, you see that the, the status changed, that is the value changed from an item to template over here. Basically template means that this particular item will have different variants. So let's go ahead and create us multiple variants. And we will select this particular color values. Let's say we want red, green, blue, black, white. I'll remove green. And make four variants. Now as soon as you will make the variants, you'll see in the item list that we have four another items also created over here like if you see this one is white black blue and red so now when you will be doing the transaction you can use this particular items over here obviously like template you cannot use in transaction because that is not the actual item these are the actual items over here so i hope you understood all about how to create a variant and how to create an item and how to add the item tax and all of that and thank you so much for watching I'll continue further in another video.